Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Warno. This time it is a 3 vs 3 on rocks. I am playing with Koch and Thoughtful Frag. We're against Nightwolf, uh, Zai being chillin', and Anka. I am playing the 5th Panzer, Koch is playing the 24th Infantry Division, and Thoughtful Frag is playing 3rd Armored. We're against 4th Motoshutsen, 79th YA, and the Rugner. And this is one of the first uh, 3v3 multiplayer battles that I've done with some friends, and this was pretty good. Koch is a very good 1v1 player. Thoughtful Frag is a newer player. Um, more games than myself, though. He actually participated in the SD League Division 4 bracket recently. I think he got two wins, but he didn't move on to top eight. But, uh, really enjoying playing with these guys, and this was a pretty fun battle, so, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I am going to, I'll edit this out in a moment. We've got a little bit of action going on, see if I can find a nice pause. Unfortunately, losing that Bradley right there. Actually, I'll probably, I probably won't edit anything out. I was going to change the volume just a tad, but I can probably do that in post anyways. Um, one thing, please let me know when I'm recording these these casts, how you feel about the volume, be it my voice compared to the in-game volume, uh, the different in-game volume sounds. This game, Warno does a really good job of having multiple different tracks that you can fiddle around with, which is, I appreciate a lot. More games need that. So I can change unit voice volumes, I can change sound effects. I can change HUD volume, all of that, which uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, my Fuchs Milan, not sure. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I think the uh, Einsatzgruppe took it out with their law. So really bad micro on my part there. I think I must have had an order queued up and really didn't pay attention to what was going on. So hopefully my Lukes take some out. Um, Lukes with its... 20 millimeter auto cannon does really does a really good job of destroying infantry units and now an Abrams from Koch adding in its weight of fire. Over here, I'm going to lose this zone because my Fuchs is moving to the middle to capture that zone, but I sh I think I realized that and move it back ASAP. So what happens or what is happening? Is Thoughtful Frag is on the right flank, and he is fighting uh, Zai. I'll call him Zai for this battle. I am mostly in the middle fighting, I would say, a mixed force of Anka and Nywolf. And then Koch is fighting mostly Nywolf. And this is a problem for our enemy. Thankfully that missed. I think the Roland actually caused it to miss. We do have a Toe 2 in this building, very nice fire position. We have also, I believe, my Recon in there. Uh, Koch has Air Cav up, I've got some Jaegers. Over here, this is going to prove to be a problem for the entire game. Just uh, Nywolf getting some ATGMs in these buildings, and then an ATGM in this forest also proving to be very problematic. Lots and lots of ATGMs from Nywolf. But Koch, very, very good 1v1 player, and his Bradley's doing a fantastic job of supporting the infantry from a distance. Something I need to get a lot better at is having my infantry up front, pushing forward. However, the infantry is, uh, it's not going to be, well actually that looks like it's aimed at the Bradley. No. Yes. Ooh. So one Bradley down, an infantry in that building taken out. Not good. Uh, I am trying to move up into these buildings, but you can see this uh, this ATGM crossfire, pretty deadly. This Luke's has good fire on here, but it'll probably be taken out because I'm not microing very well. I believe Th Thoughtful Frag saw a build up over here, or Koch saw a build up. I do have a decent AA network, which is good. Anka sending in some. HE, but there goes my Lukes. Yep. 
I wasn't microing very well. If I were to have smoked that off, it would have been great. HE bomb though, a little too late. If only it was a little earlier or I smoked off my Lukes, I would still have a Lukes and that building, the ATGM would be taken out. Um, HE bombs on the Abrams, I'm not sure if it actually killed anything, but lots of SU deaths for our opponents. Now this was a pickup game for our opponents, I believe, I don't think they know each other. So, Thoughtful Frag, Koch, and myself, we are on Discord talking this out. And for me, that is, that's my favorite way to play multiplayer games. I don't really like playing with randoms. Uh, I'll jump into a 10v10 every once in a while, and I'll start doing some 1v1s in the future. I did sign up for, I can't remember exactly what it's called, it's like FOB HQs little monthly tournament that they do uh kind of like a swiss style bracket they do have a new bracket and i'll you know i'll uh, i'll attempt that and try that out everybody seems pretty friendly in the warno community for the most part unfortunately bradley going down there this uh i'll give nywolf one thing his atgm spam was immaculate and very very difficult to take out and he's got pretty decent uh, anti-aircraft going about. Looks like Koch moving up some forces on the left. HE coming in, probably going to obliterate more infantry. Koch doing his best to move his troops, but too little too late. So, uh, really, probably would have been better from me was move up some AA to help out Koch. He has basically no anti-aircraft on the left flank. And he is moving up some chaparrales, that'll help out a bunch, but he's being absolutely decimated by anti-aircraft, and I'm I'm not doing a very good job of this middle. I don't really know what to do. In hindsight, the best thing to do would have been to probably lay a smoke screen right about here, maybe, and then push up some infantry in these buildings, get some A assets over here, maybe my own ATGMs, and then maybe once the infantry is in place, move up some troops to fire upon these units. That probably my idea there. I don't know what this Jaeger is planning to do. I am trying to get a, a Fernspar out front recon in this building, and that way I can hopefully see the enemy, because if you look at what I can see, I can start to see a little bit more of the enemy over there. Um, yeah, I can start to spot T-55s, SPW-7D, and a truck that he has not sold. Whereas the enemy, they don't have, I mean, they can see a little bit, but not a lot, mostly just Koch. But they do have a pretty good idea of me being in this forest and I probably group up units too much in forests make myself an absolute fantastic target for the enemy to just blast me to pieces I'm trusting that Koch can handle this I still probably should have supported him a little bit more because Anka really doesn't do anything in this battle it kind of well that being said, I don't really do anything in this battle either because I'm a little bit too timid, but it's really just Thoughtful Frag on the right fighting uh, Zai, and he does a pretty good job, but Zai, you know, putting all of his resources over here is able to just push back Thoughtful Frag, and Thoughtful Frag tries to push forward quite often, but... It's just, uh, it, it's really hard fighting into a fortified position like that. Now, as I said, Anka, I mean, he really, really doesn't do anything from most of this battle. I mean, Nywolf is the one that really helped me up in the middle. Anka is finally moving troops up into the middle. But then again, I don't know at this point how to attack. And it, as I said, in hindsight, I feel like, oh, this cluster is going to be pretty nasty. But we do get a hit. I don't think the clusters went out. However, this guy 
is going to get some clusters off. I think this napalm doesn't do the... Cr I mean, it does damage, and it, you know, damage is something that... Uh, it, it's a good way of stalling your opponent, because cohesion goes down, um, you need to repair, troops are being routed, so it's a good way to delay us. You'll see here, though, we are losing, slowly. But if we can secure this zone, secure this zone, this will just be a stalemate, pretty much, as long as Thoughtful Frag doesn't overextend himself, but Thoughtful Frag is trying to attack. Now, over here, we've got an HE bomb that is absolutely devastating. At least, I think it'll be devastating. Yep, kills two of my Jaegers that were in that building, which really ruins any plans I had of moving up. So, I really, what needs to happen is I need some Leopards back here to spot these buildings. Um, leopards and probably Martyrs, e even Jags, just back here. Out of range of these ATGMs, but just in range of the closest buildings. Even over here would be... I eh, probably wouldn't do anything over here. Although it would cut off the Afklar that is moving forward. Looks like we do have some artillery fire from Koch, though, which uh, very much appreciated. And he did take out that KSK. And then my F4, I believe, destroyed the Afklar. But the F4 going down, so not a good trade. And a little late to the party, this F4 also... Oh, was that a one hit, one kill? What fired that? Uh, it might have been... Oh, those are big missiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would explain why it was a one hit, one kill. Because those are the big boys. Those are the big boys, the Krugs. I don't think they have very good accuracy, if I recall. 40%. Uh, yeah, I feel like that was a little unlucky, but, you know, 40% isn't too bad. Looks like Anka had an idea to spam up T-55s, but then changed his mind because I never saw any T-55s over here. And sure enough, he changed his mind on where the T-55s are going. Looks like they're... well, he's already got T-55s in the middle, so I'm not sure. Some artillery fire coming out. I think he might have seen my leopard... Or is it these guys firing? I actually don't know who is firing at my Gepard, but that artillery fire stopped. And really, I need to stop going into this tree line. I should just put a wall of leopards here with some jags and whatnot supporting behind them. And then just sort of smoke uh, this angle. Now, Koch has finally taken this tree line, so I should have noticed this. I should have realized there was an ATGM there before, and now there isn't. Oh, there was a T-55, but that's going to die. This should be a good HE run, and it was. However, these Krugs are just annihilating me. Really need some artillery fire on those Krugs. I need to pay more attention to where anti-aircraft fire is coming from, especially with a player like Anka, who kind of reminds me of myself. He probably has as many multiplayer player battles as I do, so I should realize that his micro probably isn't top tier. Um, hopefully this Jag can get out of there. We did smoke off, so that should break line of sight. But yeah, I, I need to realize like what kind of player I am playing against. And... Anka probably very similar to me, meaning that his micro is probably not like Koch over here, and Nywolf seems to have a pretty good micro too, so we have a good oh this leopard, oh bad hit. I think at this point too I also didn't know how to reverse my vehicles. Um so I was just moving them back or attack order back, which and now I know how to actually reverse my vehicles, and that's a big godsend. But I, I think this battlefield was actually laid out very well for a multiplayer battle. Uh, I think Koch and Nywolf probably the best opponents to fight each other. And then over here, Thoughtful Frag and Zai probably the best opponents to fight each other. So it's probably good that Anko and myself were paired up against each other. Um, unfortunately, just 
Anka not able to capitalize on me being, well, not very good at attacking. Let's just put it that way. You can see that my attacks, like I just keep moving this Leopard 2A4 to the edge of the forest in hopes that things will change, like these uh, ATGMs won't just annihilate me. Uh, this ATGM is out of ammo though. There is an ammo truck over here, but it looks like it is about to go out into the open. And man, if we could have capitalized on that and taken that ATGM out while it was out in the open, that would have been fantastic. I even see that it's out in the open, but unfortunately my micro just not there yet. Awareness and micro not there yet. I Okay, I do get a hit off on the ATGM, but I doubt... Oh, and I smoke off because I saw that ATGM coming in, but it actually went for the Jag. Now, what is... Firing. Okay, Anka has... Oh, wow. That would have been great to take out. Looking at this battlefield, if we pulled air assets around this way and moved them that way, we could have easily taken out a lot of their artillery. But it's also risky because if they just spam some MiGs out, they take out our anti-aircraft assets. Uh, so moving troops up to the tree line, losing a Leopard 1E5, unfortunately. I uh, need to be a lot better with my tanks at keeping them further back. And then here comes a cluster that's just going to destroy my entire advance. And goodbye. Well, they didn't die. But we did, I think we did kill off their only commander over there. We did fire a cluster, hopefully that tornado gets out. Oof, but it's going to be out of action for quite some time. The AA over here, really good. I hope I have figured out, yep, I do have some artillery moving up. I hear Mars firing off into the distance. This, this was just a meat grinder. I mean, this is, this is like Ukraine and Russia right now. This is, uh... And just an absolute meat grinder over here. I do have some units left, but they're going to die. They need to pull back. We need to resupply them because they're pretty much useless at this point. And I need to realize that. Over here, I mean, pushing back and forth, back and forth. Good news is we have this zone, so we've stemmed the bleeding just a little. I think at this point, I saw that the enemy was moving up a little. Yeah, I could see an infantry push, so you'll see that I move, I think I move these guys, maybe not yet. But there's a half-fast infantry push over here. Not sure what I was doing with that F4, but man if it could come around and hit that. And it does, oh that was... That was actually good. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe the stinger. I does anybody know air do aircraft crashing cause damage to the area that they crash in? Because that would be a really cool feature in this game, and it should should happen. Because I mean, if a if an aircraft landed on this unit, they'd be dead. Or badly, badly hurt. Once again, not really doing anything. I don't know what I'm doing with this Gephardt. I'm just like, I'm absolutely terrified of this ATGM wall over here, and it's just not going well. And I'm moving these troops up. Once again, bad idea, because they're nearly dead. They need to come back and resupply. And we need fresh troops moving up over there. Uh, Koch finally got the commander over here, which is really good, but... Going back to the middle, you can see this... I mean, this is just doomed. Pretty good strike from the tornado there. I think these are... Oh, well, no, they... Oh, these are the fastest? Oh, these things are terrible. Oh, and they're infantry ones. Yeah, those things are terrible. Okay. I, I'm not very good at this game, and I know they're terrible. These things are interesting. Um, These are the coffin launchers, and... They just disintegrate buildings, so pretty devastating there. I immediately, you can see, I immediately place attack beacons 
Because I'm like, I didn't know what the heck those were at the time, and I was absolutely terrified. Uh, HE coming in. Unfortunately, all of my AA misses, and my Lukes goes down. And more bombs take out that building that I was in. I'm just having a really bad time advancing upon this, and looking back at it, it's kind of embarrassing because there's nothing to this. Nothing at all. I should, I should be a lot better than that by now, but that's part of the growth. And as I said, I think this was one of the very first 3v3s we played. We might have played another one where we lost, because I think I was matched up on the map against somebody who was much, much better than myself. Or no, we, we faced somebody who was like rank 60 or whatever in a 3v3, and uh, he was really, really good with his artillery, as you would expect, and was just able to dismantle me uh, very, very easily. This AT misses my martyr, which is amazing. Tries to come back around, but just takes, you know, Flieger Faust hits, Roland hits. All the like, I'm finally moving some anti-aircraft up a little bit more. But Anka's attack in the middle died. And he's moving two commanders up, which is a little bit weird, and another commander over here. That one makes sense, though. Uh, but the two commanders over here, not really sure about that move over here. And then I don't know if he was just using his truck to spot the enemy, but I mean, it... Uh, the fastest are just oh, good goodness. Yeah, they're they're getting obliterated. Really need supply up here though to resupply thoughtful Frax Ito because that Ito is really really good. Um, you can see here, it's uh, there's nothing going on. Well, there's plenty going on, but it's just. Uh, Immovable object meets unstoppable force, or unstoppable force meets immovable object, I should say. Finally, I have some artillery. I uh, don't know what I'm doing with it. Looks like I'm firing over here into Thoughtful Frag's area. Oh, actually, I know what I'm doing with it. Thoughtful Frag requested some help, and I am shift-clicking over here, but I need to probably shift-click into building this too. At least at this point, of gaming, I know how to shift click uh, bombard orders or attack orders with my artillery. Over here, just kind of setting up a wall of leopards, which is really what I should have done earlier. Get them out in this position. Really, the only thing that would punish me is a mass of ATGMs in that tree line, or maybe in that tree line over here. I hear some rocket launchers. Let's see what they are firing at. I mean, we got both sides firing rocket launchers. Looks like Thoughtful Frags was firing over at the T-80 BVD. If they fired over here, probably would have been better. And these grads must have seen something over here, but... Oh, I think it was the Abrams, but I believe Thoughtful Frag moved them just in time. Not good use of A there, because it's just a F4 on my part, not even... Not even HE or clusters. Not really sure what Anka's doing with his trucks. I don't know if he realizes he can sell them and recuperate points. But he's just sending them forward to die. Uh, kind of kind of strange. I believe um, you know the KGB might be questioning him after that. Well Rugner who Rugner's not Russian, are they? I don't see any symbols on it? Well it's dead. I really like the visual effects in this game. When you actually zoom in and watch stuff, it's it's really cool to see. This MI-8 is... okay, good, it's moving back. Tornado cluster went down, unfortunate. That cluster, did it get... I don't see any projectiles going out. But, good god, I need to learn how to push for a town. Pretty good uh, strike there. Which is good, because those Krugs were reloading. So that was actually good, but no follow-up. I like This is the time to push up, and I am just not pushing at all. Uh, Thoughtful Frag pointed out that there is 
an attack coming up, and I believe yep, I have a Gephard moving up in a Fliegerfaust, and this is not going to go well for him if, uh, yeah, because we can, we can see those. I believe we can see those. Yeah, we can see them. So, like, you need to be decisive with them. Probably good to pull them back. But the problem is, we saw them. We know they're in this vicinity, so now we'll reinforce with AA. Just need this, uh, this munitions truck needs to move over here. Unimog. And, for heaven's sakes, old Quicksilver, push up over here. There was nothing in here. And I should have known that, because... We had bombed most of it out. We don't see anything. Although, I don't really have... Well, I've got these... I've, I've got troops. Not a lot of troops. But, you know, these guys... Oh, what have they been hit by? Probably random artillery. If we could get them up into this tree line... I mean... Oh, gosh. There's just no cover. Really, we need some smoke. If I'm absolutely terrified, we could smoke this corridor off over here and just push up through the town this way. That would be great. Um, T-55 attack incoming, so does damage the Martyr, but it's not going to go well because we have seen it and we are moving assets that direction. So what is two T-72s, T-55. He's going to bring in his helicopters. Uh, this attack is doomed from the get-go. And this is basically where the battle battle turns. Uh, he should he should at this point realize what he is going into. He can see that I have helicopters up here. He can see that I have leopards, and he's going to lose all of this. I mean, all of it's going to die. You can see just everything is slowly. But surely dying. His helicopter's not doing anything. His tank's not doing anything. I mean, he killed my martyr. Congrats. And then with that failed push, Anka surrenders. And as I said, that's pretty much game at that point. Now it's uh, a 2v3, even though the AI is going to do its thing. And But the AI... The AI buys weird sh weird stuff. You can see Anka was probably sitting on quite a lot of resources too because the AI suddenly spitting out a ton of of forces and the AI doing what the AI does best, spamming out anti-aircraft assets, which is not what he needs. He needs tanks, he needs infantry, he needs to secure this town. I finally move up. I smoked? Very strange smoke. Yeah, it looks like I'm still smoking. Uh, oh, I that's so why I, I did shift click that Q order up. They fire way too slow to be effective smoke. Uh, they really need mortars for that, not you know 155s. They fire way, way, way too slow. Um, but here comes the noob spam, spamming a bunch of pioneers. Uh, in the future, I'll, well, I, I think they lost their Fuchs Milan. Which is like the only reason to take a lot of these units in 5th Panzer. 5th Panzer got hit hard by the, the nerf hammer, as it deserved, so um, you could just spam way too many Fuchs Milans. Uh, tornado down. Or, I mean, we killed a CV, but not great. Uh, so AI completely wasting on because troops, we absolutely need to push into this zone. Should have known. Anka had over a thousand points probably destroyed in that push. Time to push up. Uh, Zai wasn't helping him at all. Zai was just interested in fighting Thoughtful Frag. Anka not doing anything. Nywolf getting absolutely decimated as Koch is pushing him back. Nywolf trying to get round the flanks of Koch, but now is the time to push all of these forces up. Uh, I at least know how to resupply my helicopters, but not really doing too much with them. Not really sure what the point of that MiG was. However, an F-15 Strike Eagle and Wild Weasel was destroyed, so maybe that MiG did some damage there. I uh, didn't fire any AA missiles, so who knows. 
another wild weasel down. Not quite coordinated enough. And oh, we actually don't die. That's that's phenomenal. I believe this was Koch telling me to push up into this zone. Um, Koch is a pretty good coach in that regard. I really appreciate all the help that Koch has been giving me, Elleric, uh, Thoughtful Frag, and then on my Discord server, uh, SpaX or S-P-A-A-X. He's been very helpful to me. I, I really enjoy the community aspect of this game. It's a lot more fun playing with others than it is playing by yourself, and that goes for the single life too. Much much more fun playing with others than yourself. But really, our push not not doing well. This is this is noob 101 over here. Look how many forces we have over here. An absolute metric boatload. You could say it's a Lizzo butt ton. But we need to get into this town over here with assets. We need to back it up over here. Well, not really. We don't. I mean, a second line of defense is never bad. Uh, I decided to do my best Ralph Wiggum impersonation and help out over here with some rockets. There was a, uh, a lot of T-80s. Um, unfortunately, these grad launchers are going to go ballistic. Really need to put my artillery on counter battery fire at this point. We need to get these helicopters moving out, but yeah, Thoughtful Frag, I mean, he did a phenomenal job holding up the right. Because there was a time where Zai, you know, just held his ground and then revert, uh, like diverted forces into the middle and helped out Anka, who Anka was clearly the like newer player of the three, at least it felt that way, uh, very on par with me. Uh, if Zai and Anka pushed in the middle against me, they they probably would have taken the middle and like I would have been panicking. And then Koch would have probably had to have helped me out, and Thoughtful Frag would have had to help me out, and it would have been much better on their part. Just absolutely noob spamming at this point. Uh, units. It is it is really funny. Um, I am not strong in the mid or late game, and I think it is very obvious when you watch other newer players that the mid and late game is also the hard part for them too, because. You just like don't know what to do, what to buy, and uh, really you need to create like attack groups. You know, if you had a command 2A4, or two more 2A4s, maybe two 1A5s, and a couple martyrs backing them up, and then bring up like Geppards and Rollins to assist them. A uh, very, very solid attack group, and you'd be able to push the enemy back and have your infantry just move into uh, buildings, towns, like this is, this is not good. And it worked. And now we're spamming. Oh, we saw the MIA on the ground. That's, that's hilarious. But you can see like the AI. I, I like how the AI works in this game in terms of Sometimes it's tactics. I don't know what the AI reverts to in these games. Uh, multiplayer games, it seems to be a little bit bad. But when you play like a skirmish or whatnot, sometimes the AI has some very good maneuvers. The problem with the AI that I've noticed is just what it spends its resources on. I mean, and then this. Like, they're losing. And I believe Nywolf had surrendered at this point. I can't remember. But Nywolf does surrender at some point during the battle. It might have, I'm pretty sure it already happened. But, like, the AI has this big blob here. The AI has this, which in theory is a good idea. Like, if it flanked from this side, and then all of these came down this side, it would be good. But instead, it's just, you know, pushing everything onto the flank. And it does these big, like, blob groups, which is a problem. Once again, Ralph Wiggum, I'm helping! That's probably the worst impersonation of Ralph Wiggum ever, especially because I seem to perpetually have some sort of cult nowadays. But, you know, trying to help Thoughtful Frag as much as I can in the middle, uh, Zai really bunching up his T-80s, which 
leads to just perfect artillery and grad strikes. Over here, big smoke screen. Not sure what he's trying to smoke. Uh, did he just bomb his own stuff? I don't know what Nightwolf just bombed there, but it looked like he bombed his own stuff. He's Abrams. Uh, not sure if it's going to go well. Does this have ammo? No. For the T-80... Well, I mean, they, they are Abrams. Ooh, okay, there's a Conker's going out. Need smoke. No smoke, but just able to face tank it. And these Abrams absolutely decimating everything they roll across, which is pretty cool to see. That Abrams, however, is going to take it off the butt. And it sure does. Another Abrams down over there. Probably a little bit too far forward. I mean, that's just a giant ATGM wall. And this probably isn't going to go well either. There's just way too many ATGMs at this point. This Apache isn't going to make either due to the anti-aircraft assets. Kind of focusing over here because Zai at this point is the only human player left on red side. And the AI, the AI over here is just stupid. And you've got Koch mopping up, defending over here. I'm noobs, like, <laughs> being a noob and... Uh, I mean, these are terrible positions. Just looking back at, like, some of the stuff I do is pretty hilarious. And then Koch pointing out that they're, like, this tree line over here is just disgusting. This, this hurts, though. Uh, or Thoughtful Frag. Oh, this is Koch. Koch helping out with Itos, but he doesn't see the pathing, and these grads are firing here. And this is going to suck, because these are all going to die, because they're going right into... Yep. Oh, absolutely brutal. But it doesn't matter, because we have victory. So there we go, a successful 3v3. Uh, actually, a better game for me, 2 to 1 kill ratio. Anka with a 0.39 to 1 kill ratio, I was facing mostly him. Uh, Koch doing really well against Nywolf, and then Thoughtful Frag and Zai pretty even on that front. You can see for me, uh, 2A4 is doing well, Gipper doing well, 1A5 actually getting some pretty good kills, including a T72. Probably a side shot, unless it just uh, shot really damaged one from the front. Jag 2, some pretty nice kills over there. This Roland, holy cow. That is, that is disgusting. That is a lot of kills. This Leopard 2A4 with some pretty good kills too. And, uh, oh geez, this was the Gephard that made Anka quit the game. I mean, that's, that's devastating. Let's go, let's go see that attack. We could probably, it'll probably just look absolutely disgusting. Where is it? So Anka is... That might be a lot earlier, because I feel like he quit fairly early. Oh no, I don't know where that timestamp is. But it was a pretty, pretty devastating. Um, unfortunately, not doing a good job of finding it for you guys. That's all right. Um, but that'll be it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Most of the fights from now on will be multiplayer battles. Uh, if it is anything against the AI, it'll be like operations or army general or things like that. I have signed up for a little tournament, as I said, on, I think it is a uh, FOB HQ. I am also going to cast division four games from SD leagues, top eight bracket. I do have one video on that already it was the tiebreaker between Sunter and wolf 755 m and the winner of that made it into the top eight very good one i'll put a card in the top right hand corner for that but moving forward lots of lots of multiplayer games with my buddies so that is it for today's episode please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz and as always until next time